In this video, we're going to go over how to set up a drop down list in HTML. Now, this is a little bit different from the checkbox we did a few videos ago. A checkbox allows the user to select as many options as they want. In a drop down list, you only want them to select one option. So, again, that's what we're going to set up in this video. So, it is the select element that we use to create this drop down list. And you can see it right here. So, we need an opening tag and we need a closing tag. And then we have to use the option element and we embed that inside of our select element and we can put as many of these as we want as many options as you want to present to the user so again these go inside of our select element and again the option tags will allow us to define all of the available options in this drop down list so let's go ahead and create some options. We'll just uh, put some states in here. So let's say we had some sort of travel website and let's just pretend that we have three states that we are allowing them to pick from and they can only go to one of them. So the first one let's say is Michigan. Now this value, we don't really have to worry about right now. We will deal with this later on when we get to PHP and ASP. But for now, let's just go ahead and put in Michigan. Now here's where we put in the content. This is what will be displayed in our drop-down list. So we want to display, of course, Michigan. And it's very appropriate to keep the value and the name the same. You can do that or you can make them different. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste a new item in here. And let's pick another state and we'll go with Alabama. How about that? And to complete the process, let's do one more state. So we'll give them three options to choose from. And we'll make this North Dakota. So those are the three options they get. And we'll just copy and paste this in here again. And let's go ahead and save this. And we'll refresh our HTML page. And if we hit our drop down box here, you can see these are the three options that they get in our drop down list. And again, they can only choose one. So let's say we choose Alabama. And there you can see only Alabama now shows up in the drop down list. Now, again, in a future video, probably in the PHP or ASP series, we'll develop a script that will actually take this and process it on a server. And we'll talk about that again in a future video. 